All right, hey everybody, how we doing? This is Alex coming to you again with another little app that we've got that I wanted to show you. Super passionate and excited about um, this app today that we're going to be talking about is Google Expeditions. Uh, if you're looking at the two screens, it is the uh, the teacher one is on the left hand side. I've already logged into the internet. It's the app down here though. It looks like that Expeditions. I'm gonna go ahead and open it up for you so you can see. I've got a teacher one and a student iPad here that will be showing you how these are run. So when you log into um, when you log into Google Expeditions, which is a free app by the way, when you log in, you're going to be able to see. Let me just go back here to the regular. You're going to be able to see um, lots and lots of expeditions. What they're called. They're really cool because you go in and you can see. Um, it has it gives you information to talk about. So if I want to, um, if I want to look at one that I've already downloaded, <clears throat> let's say the Gal let's say Galapagos Islands. This one's really fun. Okay, uh, left hand side here, taking a look still. Uh, what it gives you is lots of these different scenes that you can look around. This is your actual pictures from Galapagos Islands, but it also gives you this information here. Um, and what you can do is just read this paragraph at the top if you want to for your kids. Then you can ask them questions based on where they are. Another really killer thing is when you have the uh, the expedition going on, if you tap on the Charles Darwin Research Station, if it will work, oh, I have to hit start, I think. When I tap on that, it will take you to the actual research station, and it will point the other kids in the, the correct direction as well. Oh, let me jump back on here. Sorry about that. I need to make sure I'm tapping on my on my other iPad to keep it awake still too. Um, all right, so yeah, let me just go back to here real quick and, and, and talk you through this. You need to have a Google account, a Google Gmail. Okay, so I've got uh, a Gmail that I use for this. It doesn't have to be one with the district. You can use your own uh, whatever you've created from before. Mine is under the, the name uh, Your Bass Player, but um, when you look at these, you can do a search if you'd like to, upper right hand corner. Um, you can search whatever it is you want to. Uh, say you're doing, let's, let's look up my favorite animal. Sloths, no expeditions with sloths. Uh, oh, it says Egypt up there. Or actually, oh, it says sharks. Let's look up sharks. Why not? There you go. Very cool. Sharks. So if you find one that's interesting, all you do is tap on it and it will immediately start to download it. You see that on the right hand side bottom here it starts downloading it and once you have it downloaded you just tap on it open it up and you have the ability to start the presentation right away if you want to. All you do is you hit play uh, the bottom right hand button down here play and it, uh, the start and it will start the, the uh, expedition for you. I'm going to open this up on the student app so you can see what this looks like when we're connected to the same network you can see that on the left hand or the right hand side the student iPad I show up because I'm on the same network all that the student has to do is hit the join button right here and when they hit that join button it will take them into my presentation as soon as I hit start so I'm gonna go ahead and hit start on the left hand side sharks so I've hit start now take a look at this I'm gonna pick the iPad up it looks like it's sideways for some reason. I don't know why it's sideways for you guys, but what's cool is that I have the ability to, uh, the students have the ability to look around 360 degrees, so I'm turning the iPad around right now. They can also use their finger to turn around. But do you see the little smiley face on the teacher side? You can tell where the students are looking right now. Okay, very cool. Um, if I go down and I want to have them look at bull sharks, all I have to do is tap on bull sharks. When I tap on that, notice what happens on the student side. They need to turn their iPad. Oh, and it's right there. Okay, they need to turn their iPad and follow that arrow. Oh, bull sharks are right there. They can even zoom in on it if they want to. That's a bull shark. Oh, wow. Okay, cool. So you have the ability to, to look at different things. Another really amazing feature from the teacher is that if you're on the teacher side, you can draw Take a look right here, students, and you can have it show up on the, the student's iPad. Very cool. Okay, I like that a lot. Um, you can turn and have it, you can, you can draw something else. Oh, take, take a look at, what do you think these divers are doing? 
you can see if the students are looking at what you're looking at too. Um, and then if you want to move on to another scene, all that you have to do is, uh, from the teacher side, tap on the next scene and hit start and it will take the students to the next scene automatically and they can continue to look around while you read the information over. We head over to Mexico, known for its beaches and water. Okay, go through the whole entire thing and pick the areas you want to have focus uh, conversation on and um, yeah, it's, it's a really amazing app and it's a great way to take kids on a virtual field trip uh, and just have fun um, exploring what the world has to offer. So I'm gonna get out of this real quick and you can see that it takes it says waiting for teacher on the student side uh, so we did a search we downloaded one uh, let me just show you something else on the teachers side here um, when you this this app is not very big it's only like 60 megabytes but when you use the um, the app it will download these presentations so you might want to get rid of them um, where it says downloaded only this will make it so I can see the ones that I have downloaded already um, and if I want to get rid of one, let's say I want to get rid of the sharks one that I just downloaded, tap on the three little jelly beans, remove the download, and all I have to do is hit remove again, and it's gone. And I don't have to worry about space on my iPad at all. It's really cool. Downloads them. Very easy. As long as you're on the same network, all your iPads are. Oh, man, it's, it's really great. You can also switch roles if you want to. So instead of being a guide, I could choose to be an explorer. And you can do that from the student side too. The students can lead their own as well if they're excited about it. So they can just go ahead and become a leader. Oh, I guess they would they would have to have a, um, yeah, they have to have a Gmail. So they would need to sign in on, if they have a Gmail account. But they can run um, Google Expeditions if they have a Gmail account. So that's it. Um, that's all I've got for you right now with uh, Google Expeditions. Super excited about this. It's just a fun way to take kids on um, field trips and take them to different places, let them do research in their own way. Um, a lot of fun. So there you go, Google Expeditions. Hope you enjoy that, and I'll see you on the next one.